So here we are in 1999 with a 12th century crusader on the streets of London wearing a freaking full helmet, wielding a falchion in his one hand, holding some kind of weird sire finger in his other, and faintly hearing the sounds of a nightclub? <laughs> Talk about a culture shock. Dear Christoph, laid, laid low by a pillar in the... sometime in the 1100s. Now in 1999, a, an 800 year nap. Just recently out from the Society of Leopold where he slaughtered his way through all the... you know kind of stupid vampire hunter mortals who thought they could stand in the way of an, if not ancient, but an elder vampire. Even killed the leader. Oh, I also took a humanity hit somewhere. I used to have 80. I don't know when that happened. But that's fine. I guess we all lose a little humanity if we took a nap for 800 years and then started killing and eating every human we came across. Full inventory, so very full, full of guns, things Kristoff really know nothing about. I have an unidentified flashlight, how can a flashlight be unidentified? Is it a UV flashlight? That would make kind of sense, if it's taken from a vampire uh, lodgings. Vampire hunter lodgings. We're kind of keeping to the, um, uh, the, the time at least, we're kind of blinging out bling ish so I guess we will we're here in London I can't get over this let's go Kristoff let's see what happens in this very Silent Hill version of London very foggy again London foggy sure makes sense curio Magpie Curio. My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have, were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need to hand over your wallet. <laughs> I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. <laughs> Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me one. <laughs> I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah! Are you crazy? <laughs> Ow! Uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. Oh. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, are you? Take them. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> I thank you oh. for this gift. Go forth, and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. I mean, Christoph just stands there, spouting medieval freaking language, English language-ish. Shakespearean language, at least. <laughs> Completely calm and cool as a cucumber. I, no wonder the robber kind of... Oh. Hello, Christoph. Oh, can't see anything there. Let's go out in the light. Into the light. Yeah, you do look, look a little bit more like a 20th century guy now. Still wielding a sword and holding a finger and wearing a full helmet. <laughs> okay, we have clothes. <laughs> oh, what's this about a purse? <laughs> Oh, you're, you're, okay, you're carrying an umbrella. I thought you were kind of walking around wielding some kind of weapon. And we have payphones. And I don't even know where to go, so let's just go somewhere. Bobby! Hello, sir. Don't mind me wielding this falchion. It's, um, I promise not to use it. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, underground to East London. No, I don't want to go to an underground to East London yet. I still have things to look around. Or I still have places to look around. Yeah. 
That's the Camarilla sign. Although Kristoff doesn't know what the Camarilla is because they didn't exist in his time. Clearly, since the vampire clans were or at their throats all the time. Club Tenebrae. Sure. This is where the... That's a dance, sure. She's, she's dancing better than I would, so... Pink and bartender. Bartenders usually know what's up. We have a wide selection of VT for your <coughs> dining pleasure. We have blue collar brews, white collar cocktails, and pink collar daiquiris. We've got young blood, old blood, tainted blood, and blue blood. We've got innocence, we've got experience, uptown, downtown, Park Avenue matrons, and Bowery wine. Our special of the day is a succulent free range virgin. Fresh off the bus from Iowa, free of additives and preservatives. You'll find it a tart blend with a crisp and refreshing afterlight. Fresh off the blood from Iowa? In London? I guess they froze the blood and... So yeah, we did walk into a vampire club immediately. No, no real um, surprise there. A Camarilla signs on the wall. You won't buy anything though. I kinda need to sell things. I have enough blood, thank you. Pink. Bottoms up. Ah. Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? I know. Newly embraced? No. You look it with that deer in the head <laughs> look pasted. Sorry. In your gold. <clears throat> Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi, barkeep! Get this antique blood sucker a swig of Vitae, courtesy of Pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some cover <laughs> in your cheeks. Air of the battered picture. <laughs> <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil! The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was! What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren. Once a Promethean Brugia, and now, now I know not what. Cleary, alone. She's just going at it. <laughs> Damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fellow Brugia. But here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Huh. Welcome to the new world, Squire. You like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Nesca. <laughs> A bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But Fera Nesca was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much. I awake to find I have finally lost all, for I have lost her. Mm. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of Zemitsi blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zemitsi, yeah. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. It would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. <laughs> path to the summit. Of humanities. 
Um, something like that. <laughs> that speak is true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Ineska. I hate the Zumidzis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. New coterie? Okay, so that kind of maybe confirms that basically everyone else is dead. Wilhelm, Ekaterina, Cosmos. Since none of the Prometheans are left. Unless they changed and didn't want to rebuild Carthage. Hmm. Well, no, I need no one. That's. Christoph, you're in a brand new world. You, you need some help. Milord Pink. <laughs> that was adorable. Oh, this is such a clash. I love it. Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept the kindly <coughs> offer. Sorry. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Bruja, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? Vienna? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. All right, Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. Ireland? <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York. <laughs> there are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. That's a clan. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. Oh. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. So that's where the Cappadocians went. Surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Brugia? <laughs> what hasn't? The Brugia are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now, in one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere are bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat, made up of the Sumitsi, the Lasambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick. But I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. <clears throat> I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. Uh. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. 
you can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armor and an alchemist. And uh, something not that. He had a friend named Otto who had a van somewhere, but he didn't speak those lines for some reason. Our first coterie pal. Pink. Oh, you're Generation 8. Interesting. You're old, kind of older than me. But you survived all these days. Okay, 40 humanity. Kind of explains how you knew what, the, what happened to the Prometheans, though. What do you have? You have a pistol and you have a shotgun. Your perception is higher than mine. <laughs> How about we... Hang on. Yeah, sure. Let's give you the shotgun. Then you can have all my shotgun shells. So I can get rid of a few things that way. Oh, oh, oh crap. Uh, I think I... Oh yeah, I got a nosebleed, so I'll be right back. Alright, nosebleed dealt with, no wonder my nose felt so very runny. We did get a whole heap of exposition there, courtesy of Pink. Um, I'm afraid, Christoph, that uh, you will probably still be very much uh, used by your elders, because everything in Vampire Society is political. Find the source of the shipments. Escape, es Explore London for clues about the shipment of from Prague, we still have that one. Infiltrate the Setite Haven. I recognize that word, but I don't remember what it meant in the vampire world. We also need to find your pal Otto. Get some new gear. My, but my falchion is pretty nice. He's pretty good. She's going for it. Goth girl. All goth girls. Club dancer. Is there anything else in this little club? Just a dark corner. Okay, come on, Pink. Let's go find your pal. Is there a, is there a conversation log somewhere? All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? Yeah, it doesn't have to be such a, a jerk about it. <clears throat> Uh, they are marvels indeed. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere, clay that walks like man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Yeah, let's... You pr he probably has to, again, if he's generation 8. Or he was just embraced by a really, really ancient vampire. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere, clay that walks like a man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Ah, shut up. Who asked you? <laughs> You'll need me if you want to survive in this world. Yeah, sure. I I don't contest that. I'm just you know, don't don't be an be an ass just because I'm eight hundred years old. Just woke up from a sleep. Um yes. Conversation log. Is that a thing? I don't think so. Which might be a problem, because uh, he his friend had a van somewhere, but I didn't manage to read where it was. And I can't see anything in this English weather. Curio shop, maybe? Magpie Curio? Well, uh, this looks a bit more like home. Sumner Mon Montag? 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 Hail and well met, Keeper of the Curious Shop. I am Kristoff. Well, well, well. What have we here? More than you can handle. Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. Montague. I am somewhat honored to receive such distinguished guests. Only somewhat? 
Or maybe you're quaking in your slippers, you great poof. Do not test me, blood drinker. I don't think you're quite up to it. Oi! Come on, then! Peace. We mean thee no harm, Sumner Montague. Perhaps you need to keep your coterie on a tighter leash. Perhaps. Now let us see thy wares. Of course. My sanctum is at your disposal for the time being. You can definitely see the sharp contrast between the Brugia of old and the Brugia of today. Today being the ones I'm more familiar with, the, re the rebels, the uh, anarchs, the guys who are just with the Camarilla to save their own skins, but kinda hate everything the Camarilla does. Okay, we can buy a lot of blood here, and a lot of spells. I need Scrolls of Awaken, my dude. Will you buy anything? You will buy Call Lightning. Oh, you will buy all these. Uh, Score of Cloak of Shadows, take it. I do want to a Spirit Touch. So I can identify my flashlight. And I want Awaken Scrolls. Let's buy three of those. Let's buy four of those. Revolver rounds, pistol clip. Shaman elemental. Eh. Mean could be useful in but maybe maybe I'll I'll keep that one until I fill out my coterie with more people. Keep this one. And Oh, just just vampire blood? Straight up vampire blood. Yeah, and the today's uh, bags give us more blood than the bottles of blood from ages ago. Except for the blood pouch, that's still here. Also, why have three separate instances of a plasma bag? <laughs> and kindred blood here and down here? Whatever. Uh, yeah, let's take a walk of the abyss too. Let's take two walk of the abyss. Even though I don't have a haven yet, I haven't found a haven. A pleasure serving you, Kristoff. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets or more cash. I shall, Sumner Montague. But no, uh, where did the? There we go. Flashlight. Just a flashlight. <laughs> Nothing special about it. Just a flashlight. Okay. So that was a 200 cash for nothing. What about selling your antique locket? That'll bring a pretty penny. No, this is not for sale. The locker. Was that the... Is that the Amulet of St. Jude? Or was that, was that something Aneska gave him? I don't... I rightly do not remember. So that was a curio shop. Up that way should be Leopold. So have I gone... Hello, Belish. I think I've gone everywhere here now. This is the Camarilla Club. And past the horseless carriages, I am not allowed to walk. I guess we're going the underground then, because I don't think I missed anything else. Nope, uh, let's go to... Uh, again. Get out of my way, please. Explore more of London. Excuse me, everyone. We're all stuck on the stairs. Thank you. 
I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. <clears throat> Against all odds, peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. <laughs> I shall see to it that thou joins them on the moon if thou dost not cease thy foolery. The Lord completed the world in six days, and that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Yeah, we're going to go with that one, because we're still kind of a man of faith. We're kind of losing our faith a little bit. But I think by now that's basically the only thing that's keeping him together, since he's lost everything else. So let, let's be religious for now. The Lord completed the world in six days, and that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, not. <laughs> That's a Totten Tottenham Court. So now we're in East London? We're over here now. Theater, brothel, the knocking club. I forgot to check the map. Did I actually... West London, Club Tenebrae, Curio Shop, and Society of Leopold. Yeah, that's that's everything. Just had to double check. So let's, uh, we are here. There's the Thames. Let's not go to the theater bro brothel. Let's look around first. See if we can find his friend Otto. Oof, the I'm damned thirsty. I could go for a lick stick. Lick stick. A mortal. Feeding you stupid gets. We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off. What do you care about the juice bags anyway? As long as we have greater power, <clears throat> we have an obligation to keep them under our protection. Indeed. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay, no killing when I feed Christ. Oh, no mention of taking the Lord's name in vain. But yeah, no killing when feeding. That's an important lesson Christoph still has from uh, Wilhelm, who was a good influence on him. Poor Wilhelm. Poor Serena. I wonder what happened to them. Were they? Did they manage to get out of Visrad? We need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. <clears throat> you need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch it tight. Shut up about the necklace. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood-sucking eye. This all. Yeah, you can be... Oh, there's Otto's van. Okay, you can be less of a dick about it. I mean, that's the modern-day Bruja for you. Hello? Well, what do you want? Here we go, some armor. Let's see, we can sell, sell one of the shotguns. For a measly low price of 109 cash. Yes, they decided to go with cash so they didn't have to go with pounds and then presumably dollars if we go over to the US. And not worry about the exchange range and everything. We're, we're just we're just having cash. I mean yeah, he's gonna use my shotgun, so we can sell the other shotgun too. A ballistic vest. Or a t-shirt. No, we're going with a leather jacket for now. What are you wearing? Absolutely nothing. You do have a gun though. Just a regular gun. I still don't know how to reload these damn things. Let's buy jackets for both of us. I should have switched over. 
I should have had him buy by it, I see now. Damn, your manipulation is higher than my manipulation. A taser, brass knuckles, sap gloves, molotov cocktail, a motorcycle helmet? Tam Tam? My, my full crusader helm is way better than your motorcycle helmet. I guess you can get one. Maybe you can hide your ugly mug in it. Bows and crossbows, of course. Assault rifle. Oh. Forty-five damage. Speed sixty-six. Ammo forty. And a handy hand flamethrower. <laughs> Look, you still have swords. I mean, my, my blade is decent. Yeah, of course. The... These do more damage. But, uh... I need to increase my perception th first. I hope perception helps with hitting. I'm just going off assumptions. It's gonna suck if it doesn't. I always, always th thought those three were basically just mental or spells and such. I think we're done here. Lost. Yeah, screw you too. All right, oh. let's head over to the underground. The <clears> set my <throat> brothels over by the docks in an abandoned theater. Come on. I plan to rack up a few set skins before the night's over. Yeah, yes, modern day Bruja, always eager to get into a scuffle. Oh, hey, Christoph, sleek look, I like it. I do look that, I do, I do look, I do kind of like that, even if they wear the same armor, they do wear things that are appropriate for them. Unfortunately, I can still see your face. <laughs> Mm, let's um, organize a little here. Um, damn, that's a lot of journals you had. Since there are six of them. And then put my abyss over here. My awakens down here. The bonus awaken over there. And drawing out the beast, I should actually have sold that one. New. You actually could possibly cast some spells. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, your manipulation is 55. I need to increase my manipulation. I look good, though. I look really good. <sighs> yeah, because your perception is 50 minus 30. I do have 85 dexterity, though, which will help for now. And I need to find. I need to find a. Haven, thank you. So I can level. Now about that brothel of yours. Bridge Bridge Haven! Vault? Of course. Don't need these. Don't think I really need this one with me for now. Let's rest. Lure of Flames. This is what we would learn with that one. Torch. Don't know what the other ones are. Alright. Uh, just because I want it at, a, at an even five.
Stamina is for soaking damage. That could actually be helpful. Not health. Soaking. So, so kind of health in a way. Just not a big pool of health. I do want some more manipulation. So I can buy stuff. How about I have the most manipulation of everyone? That cost a fair bit of points. And let's increase perception. Quite a bit. Also wits. Damn. Ah, that's good enough. Oh, you only have level 3 blood healing? You shock. What do you have? Potons? Pro protein? Oh, you have all of it. You have presents. Majesty? Causes all surrounding creatures to stop and gaze at the user. So yeah, presence is basically the narcissist disciplines. Now, I do have increased my perception a little bit. Let's see if I can, I can't actually hit stuff. I hope it automatically reloads. I don't have a sim machine gun. Call lightning. Yes. Yes. Let's use that one first. That'll be fine. That shall be fine. Let's get out of here. Because the sound, anno sound annoys me. We're just two elder vampires stalking the streets of London. We're down here, I think. And it looks like we are. At least we don't have to drive forklifts. Or uh, carry crates to earn money. Okay. Get up here. Yes. I can kind of hear a nightclub. Or maybe that's the theater brothel. Don't. These are my stairs. Not your stairs. Pedestrian. Getting closer. Is it up or down? that tender art of yours, Chris. These damn set-eyed snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the set-eyes feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a set called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabbat in America, and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash, moving mud for the fiends. As in Earth? So we're doing two birds with one stone. Or, as we say here, two flies in one hit. Brothel patron? Oh, there we go. Oh, flush those white cheeks. Hey, boys. I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. <laughs> Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. I can't interact with her at all. Not talk, not drink, nothing. Can't speak with Lily, though. She looks to be in a combat ready position. I'm upstairs. I'm not one of the oh, setters. There's white I'm from Clan Toreador. Prove it. Oh. Who a cry, cry, cry. Uh, 
You mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing... Enough! <laughs> She's a Tory, all right. Please protect me. I'll help you with whatever you need. You go to remember? Perhaps you will be a valuable ally. Christoph needs needs allies and help. Upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. No, thank you. Perhaps you will be a valuable ally. Oh, thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip my little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We have questions about illegal shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Sedites know. Blood bond. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy looking stage backdrop of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. Okay, memory is fuzzy, but I think a blood bond was basically you willingly or unwillingly, I guess, drink the blood of another hopefully elder vampire and you kind of get closer to them as a vampire. After drink, I think it was, was it, uh, was it after three times where the bond was complete and you couldn't oh she is in my coterie nice and then you couldn't actually perform any uh, hostile actions on them or it was very 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 difficult to do so at any rate tell me about you lily you're also general everyone's a strong vampire i guess they would need to be otherwise they would be <laughs> no challenge. Your rank is kind of low, though. They're not as cool as the rest of us. What be your disciplines? You have throwing knives. Okay. What be your disciplines? Feed, blood healing. Uh, aspects. Celerity. Yes, please. Presence, of course, you're a Toreador. The tortured artists of the vampire world. As long as you use celerity, we should we should be fine. So somewhere below the brothel, huh? Don't mind us, we're just stalking around with guns. Nothing to see here. Pink is stuck. Behind the trash can. Hmm, yes. A lot of Egyptian artifacts. Makes sense. Setites. They do hail from Egypt. Don't really remember much about them, like I said. Oh. So this is... Kind of like a hostess club? It's big. Nice. More performance today. We need to find a way down. And Lucretia is a, in, an incredibly powerful vampire? We'll see about that. Where be the way down? Not over there.
Excuse me? Okay. Why? Okay. There's some kind of police or ambulance outside. This didn't go anywhere. Can you... Fudge off! Yes, yes. Yep. Come on, you can walk here. What's your pleasure? Absolutely nothing. Pedestrian. Uh, my pleasure is trying to find the way down. Beneath the brothel. But I cannot seem to be able to find said way. That door can't be open. These doors could be open. How how can I be lost in this little place? That just leads out to the stage. There's got to be something down here then. Something I clearly missed. Or not? Up, 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 I saw you. That's more like it. Everyone follow me to the Setai Temple. Oh. Christoph, you look like a natural sneaking around with a gun. I think I can hit. Um, I have been uh, cursed. In the downside to all this being that. Um, Ammunition is a finite resource. So I think we all need some melee weapons. See, these guys are carrying swords, so I can. Okay, I can't... Uh... Okay, reload, Kristoff. That's a lot of snake sounds. How do how do I reload? I've already used up all the ammo. Okay, never mind. Uh, she went to, into torpor. You know what? Screw this. It uh, reloads automatically. Yeah, celerity plus weapon. Way better. Uh, celerity plus melee weapon, I should say. I'm starving. I'm dying. Uh, don't be so melodramatic. Here, lady, you can have my freaking stuff. I'll stick with Miss Sword, thank you very much.
Yeah. Sword better for me. And uh, no, that one. That's where I am. Hey. Um. Feed. You should actually have that one down there. I'm high blood healing there. Maybe she can sit and suckle on his neck for a while. Wait, did the music always kind of ramp up in battles? I don't remember that. For the poison. Eyes of the serpent. What do? Cast on someone else. Oh, is that the thing they used on me? Can't wait to return the favor. I mean, you can see what they call Sedites, right? Makes sense. Hi. Oh, actual snakes? I have Eyes of the Serpent on me right now. Kill the Setite. While I eat his friend. You kinda you kinda suck at the whole killing people, don't you? I miss my old coterie. They didn't mess around. They killed stuff. Just following. You'll die for that. See, much more effective than a gun. I want a taste of you. No. Hey, Chris. Look at old set gobbling up Osiris. Filthy snakes. Their worship of set is frightening. I've seen such horrible things. So have I. I have dealt with Simichi. Not very nice people. Cardboard box down here. Containing... More poison antidotes. Is this set eating Osiris? Oh yeah, his head is on a stick. Okay, gotcha. There was really nothing here. But I missed something somewhere and they are prone to hiding levers. That are kind of difficult to see. So let's find one. Or just a, just a regular switch. No, that's just music. That's not battle music. I can hear the music kind of ramping up now. Is that something? Or not just... Just light bleeding through. Maybe something on this side?
What's a suitcase? Can't get up here. Ah. Right in front of me. Some more satellites. This is what I think about your new fangled machines that spit lead bullets. They're nothing. Okay, that's the way forward, presumably. Oh, hi. Ow, oh, it burns, it burns. Ow. Oh. Kill the satellites. Eat the satellites. She's under the eyes of the serpent. This blood is all mine. T-shirt? You don't have any armor. And you've already used up all your ammo. And guns don't really work against vampires. Really. So here. Since that's basically your only way of... Doing damage. You can have a stake each, so you do some melee damage. Well, so that's what. Wait. Ancient antidote? No, modern antidote. That's weird. And of course, there's another pistol here that I just take everything. Take all of them. Use them. I don't want them. How's your intelligence? 50? You can use that one. Maybe then you'll be useful. Take your flamethrower and get out of here. That's what I thought. It's isn't that anything? Oh, okay. Blood pouch. Ever. Command Catch the Viper. Let's see. Blood punch for you and a blood punch for you. Nice. She has a crap ton of guns now. Hope you know how to change your weapons in combat. He's already he's already used up all his his ammo. Holy jam. Your guns do feel kind of worthless. Drawing out the beast, didn't I risk the hatch the viper? Should use the scrolls a little, up, up a little bit, maybe. Sell those. Set tight uses blood dexterity? Sure. You can do that. 
didn't help you. We have another steak. See, Pink, you talk down about all the melee weapons, calling them, calling it old crap and whatnot, but... Who's killing the most Setites? Me, that's who. Let's just go bananas. See? Setites die. Ooh, mummy? That's why you keep using the swords. Even in this day and age. Yeah, I'm gonna keep numbing on you. You have a flamethrower. Oh, you know, no, I don't really need to. Kill him. Everyone. <laughs> Just one swing and I cut his head off. Feels like my inventory is gonna fill up pretty fast. Hello? Uh, I'm just rushing in. Lily has gained a new rank. Good. She needs it. I mean, I've already killed three Setites. Four. Five. Six. S seven. How many have you killed with your weapons? Ooh, that's a steak launcher, though. That's kind of cool. You manage maybe one dude? Man. Today is Bruja and Toreador. Eh, there, there. They have a lot to learn. Oh, and you didn't drop your steak gun? Boo. Just boo. And we get some... Old-fashioned bottles, too. Okay. Just le boo. See, a lot of steaks. Okay. So this is gonna be the a thing with the set lights, huh? Having to find a lot of switches and things to pull to open new doors. Whoa, whoa. Masterfully dodged. Completely by accident, but masterfully. Except that one. Yep, yep. See? Good dodging skills. I'm kind of, so far, not afraid of any of these setites. They're kind of weak. I'm just waiting until I have to um, eat my words so far. Um, do kind of very much feel like an ancient vampire just tearing through the disappointments of today. You can take care of a snake, well, huh? just the one snake. Oh, there's another snake here, I think. Yes. We wish to know of thy shipping routes. <laughs> Have you seen your friends? A thousand cats, you say? Two cats for you, and a gnome for you. And the the uh, think celerity might be extremely overpowered. <laughs> it's fun, but it feels very overpowered.
Or so I say until I meet a boss that's gonna just bitch slap me into the next century. Like the, the weird thing last time. You could one shot me. I think that's basically what the bosses need. If they want to stop me, they will have to be able to one shot me. Death of a thousand cuts. Uh -huh. Snakes? Cross the snakes. Ooh. Uh, sure, 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 sure. I'm, 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 oh, I'm under the weird enchantment thing again. Kill him. Show your coterie how it's done. I'm sorry, Christoph. Show thy coterie how it's done. And if you give me any more lip pink, I am going to punish you. Severely. See how I dispatch a people? You should fear. Fear, Christoph. Actually did something. Up. Ow. Okay. Some kind of grenade launcher. That kind of not hurt, but that was surprising. Pistol clip. Let's say that. Let's say it was surprising. That kind of looks like a stack of cash stuck under the switch. Mm. Oh, yay, another shotgun. A switch. That did. Uh-huh. Think it opened up here? Oh no, my celerity wore off. Give me, give me the bracelets. I can't wear two bracelets. I can wear two bracelets. Interesting. Light enhancing goggles? Not identical. Dude. So this flashlight, what does it do? It's just a flashlight. Right, it's just... Not UV light or anything, just a flashlight? I mean, UV light would have made sense. Tome of Obfuscate. Don't I already have the Obfuscate discipline? I do. You should too. You don't. Because you're a sucky, Bruja. You're a ninth generation, but your discipline suck. If anyone needs obfuscate, it's you. Do the whole cloak of shadow things. Okay, but that switch must have done more. Or did I just take a wrong turn somewhere? I've just been rushing through, killing everything. I haven't really paid attention to where I've gone. <laughs> there are clear stairs down here. Clearly. A 
Osiris' head on a pike again. Okay, stairs down there. Find another switch. Somewhere. To open it. But it wasn't that switch. Because I pressed that one. What happens if I press it again? I press it twice, I think. Don't think that actually does anything? Maybe now we can actually take a... Yeah, pull down that one. That open... That, that open... It showed the bridge. The bridge. Which led me to the switch. Which opened this little chamber with an obfuscate tome. And nothing else. Oh, I'm stupid. Maybe I should actually look around in the rooms I'm in. Now are the stairs there? Yes. Oh, hi. At least they're smart. They're going after Kristoff. Just too bad I'm... Your tricks and don't last that long. Oh, you... You have a bit of health on you, don't you? So die. And he... Wait, he turned in... He turned into a... No, okay. They're not mummies. They just... Cast things on themselves. Eyes of the Serpent. Blood Dexterity. Set Item to Frenzy. Huh. Yeah, you're getting nommed on all the way. You're an asshole. Never mind. Christoph keeps releasing them! Why can't they keep eating, even if I switch to another character? While well, I'm switching characters around, uh... Feed. Blood healing. I want everyone to have the same setup. Celerity down on four, good. Potence, Shore, and Feral Claws. Yeah, we can get behind that. Uh, celer celerity should be down here. Aura perception. Receives aura and other statistics of a targeted creature. Don't see what use I would have of that. Heightened senses. Increase. Still don't know what the hell that does. Doesn't change my stats at all. Freaking Eye of the Serpent garbage. Kill him. Kill them. You drank my blood and you were alive for one swing. Also, dude, are you not... Did you drop your stakes? Did you stake vampires and then drop them? Oh, damn it! we need to get you some actual melee weapons. Some good old swords. How about uh, some falchions? <laughs> One little swing. Didn't even look like he put much thought into it. Just rip. And he died. Holy statuettes. Sure, we can sell that one. Because we still don't have any humans in our coterie. As it should be. To the abyss. 
And no one cast Eyes of the Serpent on me. Thank you very much. Yes, keep swinging. Oh, are you you're using an assault rifle? Can you drop it? No, he dropped a revolver instead. Guess that makes sense. Hey, get over here, snake. Ah, uh, I, I saw that. It is mine. Inferior accessory, but it's money. Leather jackets. More armor for you, my dear. Ooh. Uh, drop that there for now. Learn how to actually do inventory stuff. And actually, actually equip one of those so you... Can you dual wield? No. That would have been funny. I mean, you kind of have a shotgun, so go for it. Oops. I mean... Might as well use them before I sell them. There's another way to go. What was that? Oh, another leather vest. Don't mind if I do. Wait, leather vest? Oh. Yeah, this the suckiest. Can I throw more snakes at me? I'll come and chop you up. Actually, I I need blood. Please supply blood for me. My name's Christoph and I'm not drinking any blood bags. I am drinking my directly from my fellow enemy kindred. Fellow kindred enemies? Can she? Thank you. She needs a bit of blood. Oh, Christoph, just go in there. Slice them. Mesmerize potence? Stop using all the blood I just got you. Oh, I wanted to eat him. I accidentally beheaded him instead. Okay, you... You actually... Come on. Oh, Kristoff. I shouldn't leave Kristoff alone. <laughs> he uses up all my blood. I mean, he does it well, but he's a, he's a freaking force to be reckoned with. He's... Oh. Don't piss off Kristoff. That's all. Um, there you go. How about we put that one there, put that one there. Try and do little. Sure, put the bloodstone down there. There, we have six spaces free there, perfect. Down to Setai Temple 3. I guess down to Setai Temple 3 it is. Oh, straight into battle? Oh! Friggin' assholes! Oh, Kristoff went into Torpor! That's not good! Ooh. 
See, I got cocky and I died for it. Freaking Eye of the Serpent garbage. Can you actually... No. I was hoping he could, you know, steal it and then... Uh... Resurrect Kristoff, but no. Let's do this again. Freaking Eye of the Serpent garbage. Fine, die, you freaking viper. I have so many debuffs. All of two. That's two too many. Now, if only I could trust Kristoff to. I do withdraw. As I saw the satellite over here. Where, where the hell did you come from? Okay, that's well. He, he still follows, but he isn't attacking or anything. That's kind of perfect. That's what I want. That's enough blood for you. Oh sure, now she continues to feed. But when I switch away from Chris up then, no, 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 no. Of course we can't continue to feed. Follow my lead. Sure, suck on him, suck on him. Kill him. Did you drop anything of value? A gold bracelet. Away. That's better than a silver bracelet. And now it's right back to being cocky. Because what's the meaning of being a vampire if you can't be cocky? What's the point of being a vampire? Not meaning, but whatever. You know what I meant. Did that just be Cle Cleopatra, maybe? It's not Nefertiti. Because she is usually depicted different. She usually has a funny hat. Or maybe they're, st they're just regular Egyptian woman. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Friggin. I need to know what the hell this action... What what does it do? Sometimes I can attack people, sometimes I can't. Ow. Eat him. To get some of your precious blood. I don't dare take control of anyone else. Notice that even if it does disappear after a while, if you fire and it kind of hits the wall, it still shows. That's a lot of small, nice little details like that. This is a very well made game. Also, a very fun game.
Yep, I missed. Hey, where's the way down? I'm freaking serpented again. Um... Where's the way down? Did I did I not see it again? Was it just on the other side of this and I didn't notice? I didn't no. I can't go down there. Can't go down from here. Whoop. Ah. And that did something? I'm not even to walk. I'm not even allowed to walk this time. I don't know what this does. It seems to do so many different things. Sometimes I can walk. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can attack. Sometimes I can't. Okay, I guess that switch opened something in this room. Huh? Yeah, you know, it's it's gonna be a freaking pain to be a setite. I have to go through this temple every day. Yeah, I've got to go up here, up these stairs. I'm gonna press this, this switch, and I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna press this other switch. Ah, there's the bathroom. Thank you. And yes, I know vampires don't use bathrooms, but you know. Who builds stuff like this and then lives there? That makes no sense. Slice. You missed me. You burned your friend. You hit me. Congratulations. Now you die. You hit me again. Now you die again. I get the feeling Kristoff will keep using his English the entire game through. <laughs> I'm I'm dying. Kill the Setite. Then you eat him. Eat him right back. Take back your blood. Oh, Kristoff went off on an adventure. Pink is out of ammo. Of course you are. Because the shotgun suck. Either that or I'm fighting vampires with a lot of stamina. Yeah, did the guys over here drop anything? I just rushed through, left them to you. They didn't. Wait, they did. Revolver rounds. Yeah, I think it's gonna be basically sell every gun I find. Maybe keep one for each person in case we find someone who's for some reason immune to melee damage, slashing damage, blunt damage. Yeah, everyone's gonna have swords. We're bringing back the medieval times. How much experience does a snake get us? 20? It's worth it. Or these guys need to increase their stamina so they can soak more damage. Skin of the Adder. I actually, actually kind of want to know what that does now.
Nothing? Nothing that I can see. It probably does something. But nothing obvious. Yes! Come here! See, now I now I was under the serpent thing and I could could attack. I can attack. No, that's still the skin of the adder. Never mind. Fine, get over here. No, no! Don't! Oh, he actually bent down and... Fucking... He drank from her wrist instead of her neck. Yeah, he's right over there. Can you can you go get him? I'm having a food thing here. A uh, pink. Can you help our Toreador friend? No. Fuck you, them. Can you? Why have you guys stopped attacking? This is kind of infuriating. Heal the heal thyself. What are you doing? Why have you turned into s fucking zombies that just stand there and drool? I have the serpent again. Get you, fucking asshole. Get over here. Yeah, we need melee weapons for you. I miss my old coterie. They knew how to fight. Wait, was that a... That sounded like arrows. Is that one? See, now I'm under the thing and I can attack. It's weird. Are you not attacking just because you don't have melee weapons? You have feral claws. You don't have any blood, though. You can, you can still go and bonk them over the head. Unarmed damage. Thank you. Chainsaw. Sure, no ammo or anything. Screw it, give it to the Toreador. <laughs> Play it being Ash, even though you're a vampire? Okay, I didn't see you two bastards. <laughs> Ooh, compound bow. Sure, you can use that one, even though you don't have arrows. See, there are a lot of vipers here. 
And I'm pretty sure they have hit me, but I haven't been poisoned yet. Are they non-venomous wipers? Here she comes. <laughs> Seems to help. Sapphires. I'm gonna make so much money. Set like Temple 4, eh? Did you did you find a Oh you found a Bastard! Suck up some blood. Kind of in the same dark environments. You should get some electricity down here. Just a teeny tiny bit. Pick it up, please. Thank you. And at level four. Actually, I guess the bow maybe came with some ammo. Kill him! Kill him! God damn it. I can see someone ahead. A woman? Is that Lucretia? Might have to actually end up... If I'm gonna fight her, I might have to end up fighting her one-on-one. -on -one. Cause my dudes are not the best coterie ever. Again, under the eye of the serpent thingy, and I can still attack. It's weird. Light and hands and goggles. Come here. Can I get rid of something first? No. You may not. You may, can I put them on? Does that change anything? No? Good. I saw some gems in here. Yes. Up. Oh. I need a fourth coterie member. Alrighty, Lucretia. I guess you're Lucretia. Lily, is it you that assists these infidels? How sharper than a serpent's tooth is an ungrateful child! I hate you! I hope they kill you! I mean, we've killed her entire... Uh, entire place, all her subjects, but we'll give her a chance out. 
Nay, tell us of thy shipping routes and free Lily of the bonds of blood. Then we shall part in peace. No. No peace with the Setons. We kill them. Quiet, Lubbox. Lubbox. <laughs> Where do you come from, little ones? You sound ancient, yet you look so young. Thank you. So young. And so foolish. Fuck you. I give nothing. And you have yet to pay for killing my worship. They attacked me. I just want to say. Kill her! Ooh, snakes! Why snakes? Damn. What dost thou mean? She is as dead as any canine I have destroyed. Pink is right. I still feel the tug of the blood bond. She can't be killed because she's got no art. A lot of these damn snakes do that. They rip out their hearts and stuff them in a jug someplace safe. Uh huh. Then we must find Lucretia's heart. Mayhap we can bargain with it to secure the knowledge of the Prague shipments. Lucretia leaves the brothel a lot to go to a secret haven. I don't know where it is, but I've heard the guards talking about escorting her to the tower. Tower of London? The bleeding tower of London? What he said. So. The tower of London? Is your haven? What the... Okay, so... Perception seems to have helped a bit with... Uh, hitting. With guns. But I'm not impressed. 18,000 experience points. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to increase feed with max. So I can feed easier. Because I think that helps with feeding. Let's see. Keep raising wits to 60. Slightly easier to avoid frenzy. More difficult to get into frenzy. Some more dexterity. Some more strength. More stamina. Can't raise that five points though, because it costs 60, 360 to increase it one point. Guess I'll save these 1200. I'm not really finding anything here. I want to. Maybe fortitude, but then, yeah, maybe fortitude for next time. Hey, guess what you're gonna increase? Blood healing. Also, we're gonna make you into a melee dude as well. And you gotta have to soak a little bit. A little bit more. Then we need you to celerity up. Because celerity kicks ass. And then... We... Hey, you're a bruja. You're gonna... You're gonna just... Bonk people. You, however, dominate. Spirit touch, yes. So we can identify all the weird... Unidentifiable goggles and <laughs> flashlights. You did level up at least, so you have a little bit more health. But we actually make you make you as kind of a spell ca ah yes, here we go. Gonna make you spellcaster, yes. You're going to take Serena's place. You're gonna be casting fireballs. So you actually, you do need stamina. There we go. A fireball and maybe another fireball. Seventeen forty-nine. That's a weird number. Twenty-six, twenty-four, thirteen, twelve, and head twenty-five hundred. 
Four thirds. Hmm. Yes, you're you're gonna be. You are. Oh, you're holding a gun. Give it to him. Maybe firestorm instead of whatever the hell that was. Right, so her haven is somewhere. The Tower of London. Find Lucretia's heart from the Tower of London in East London, which is where we are. So I guess we're gonna go out of here and back to Otto and sell all of this crap, buy some melee weapons for people. Well, she has one. She has a chainsaw. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> You're gonna get a sword or something, though. You're gonna be my new two-handed guy? You're gonna be my new two-handed guy. I'm gonna have to buy a battle axe for you. Because it doesn't seem like that one survived the trip. That's the plan. But I'm leaving this here for now. I am immensely enjoying it. I, I liked this game even before. Because uh, it, like, it felt like a, you know, old-timey RPG. Not too easy, not too difficult. Except some bosses, but, you know, you could power through those. But then when they made the time jump into modern times... I'm just loving this more and more. This is pretty... I love this game, and I'm looking forward to seeing where everything goes. Probably, eventually, New York, because most of the vampires' uh, adventures actually took place in New York's so whereabouts, that I played at least. To take, up, to take up the battle with the Simichi and the Sabat. And I'm betting Aneska is alive somewhere. And maybe that's where our, our redemption comes in then? The redemption? To... I don't know. Anyway, leaving this here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. I think you're awesome. Anyway, I do hope you take care of yourself. And I wish you nothing but the best.